Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Cal and I thought we'd start out our video today. We, um, it is about 7.10, almost 7.15. We are actually getting ready to head out to go to school. We're going to leave just a little bit. He's going to try to get up here and get my camera. We're going to leave. Who is that? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're going to try to leave just a little bit early today. So we can, um, it's actually teacher appreciation week. We haven't done anything for Dolly's teacher yet, but we're, we're going to, I know you don't. We've got a sick little one, got a sick little one in the house. So Callan, he is trying to climb. He is on my, he climbed up on my knee. Excuse you. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is teacher appreciation hey, week, brother, so Mama. he is your brother. So we're gonna pick up Delaney's teachers in Starbucks this morning, a drink and some breakfast, and then hopefully I've been meaning to get out and get her another gift, and I just have not been able to do that yet. So hopefully we'll be able to bring that tomorrow, which tomorrow will be Friday, the end of the end of the teacher appreciation week. So we're gonna do that. Also, hey, let me just go ahead and get this camera before he gets it. Hi. Hey, the kids, Delaney. I think Delaney's ready for school. We're getting ready to head out. We did get our every plate meals. I'm gonna show those with y'all, share those with y'all, and I'll talk more about them later on in the video for dinner time. They look so good this week. Um, we've got Italian pork sausage gnocchi bake that looks really good to me. Um, and then pork chops and creamy Dijon mushroom sauce. That looks really good too. And then this is what I'm looking forward to the most. Loaded Tex-Mex beef potatoes. So we might actually make these tonight. These look really easy to make. They're ready in 20 minutes. Super easy and we have a busy evening. So we will probably make that one tonight. So I'll share that with y'all and my discount code and all that in a little bit. So this morning I got up and got myself ready for the day. I did not work out this morning. I'm still gonna try to get a workout in a little bit later. If I'm able to, we do have a busy evening. So if not, then I'm gonna take a rest day today. I've worked out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I'm proud of that. And then um, I might just take a rest day today. I'm not sure yet, but um, we're so I'm so excited because I get my van back today. I'm supposed to get my van back today That's the plan as of right now unless something changes. Um, we're gonna take the rental back and get that I've also had a hair appointment today. So I am excited to get my hair done today um, So we've got a pretty busy evening. Millie's not feeling the best. She went to the doctor yesterday So hopefully she is gonna be on the mend and getting better um, So I thought I'd just bring y'all along for my day since we've got a pretty busy day today um, so we're gonna head out and grab Delaney's teacher some breakfast. I'll grab me a Starbucks. I haven't done that all week, so I am going to today. Um, grab her some breakfast and grab me a coffee this morning. I have been loving, and I shared this in my last video. Well, I don't have the package to it. I took it out and put it here. The uh, uh, Cold Stone Creamery Sweet Cream, that lighting, coffee creamer has been so good. But I'm gonna treat myself to a Starbucks today. Are you ready? We are headed out. Probably the last time. Well, maybe not the last time. Depending on if I vlog later. Maybe the last time y'all see me in this vehicle. This one's been fine though. It's been good. I do miss mine. Like a lot of the stuff with my van. This is a Chrysler Pacifica. And it's been great to no. um, do what it needs to do to... It's been a good van. But I really miss mine. I just, I just like driving my own vehicle too, like not somebody else's vehicle, like the rental companies. Um, but the, I'm so excited to get it back today. It's been nine days, nine days to get it fixed, and oh my I'm sure it's gonna look good as new. I'm going, so very excited to get it back. Are you playing? You playing with your camper? All right, I'm gonna open up these blinds. Put some light in here. We got Starbucks for Delaney's teacher. It got to her safely. I asked her, I meant to send her a message. I'm like, make sure Delaney got that to you safely. Cause she got a hot coffee. So I told Delaney be so careful and do not spill that coffee cause you will get burnt. Uh, actually she got a hot chocolate, a white hot chocolate. Anyways, um. So we got that taken care of. We are home and the kids are just playing. Hopefully you can hear me over Callan's little toy over there. Um, 
I was gonna eat my breakfast. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit to eat it because I just got done with my coffee and my coffee fills me up. So I'm gonna wait till like mid morning to eat that or drink, yeah, eat that. I think I'm gonna um, start doing some stuff, cleaning up and I don't think I have, kinda, kinda caught up on laundry. I might do a load of laundry today that actually, no, I don't think I'm caught up. Now that I think about it, I think we've got a load of laundry in the wash and some in the dryer. So I'm at least gonna fold that today. That might be all I get to today. Also, I am super comfy for a while today. Just some comfy stretchy shorts, t-shirt. I actually might stay in this all day, honestly, even to go get my hair done. I don't know, I might change out of these. This is my school drop off. Yeah, honestly though, I'm not always like this in the morning for school drop off. Uh, probably a couple mornings I am. A few mornings, especially as if I get up and do my workout in the morning then usually I'll at least get up and do my workout and then take a shower and then sometimes that's all I do and then I'll come back and sometime during the morning get myself ready for the day. Or if I'm having a really good morning, okay, throw that in the trash, okay? Or if I'm having a really good morning, I'll get my workout again, take a shower and get myself fully ready before the kids even get up. But that's not every morning. That's my goal every morning, but it's not every morning. But. All right, I'm gonna make my bed up and get a few things done this morning uh, while the kids are occupied. Also, just to show y'all, I actually was prepared to work out this morning. I laid my clothes out, I laid my socks, I laid my sports bra and my pants out, but just gonna count today as a rest day. done today I, I've not even filmed at all like I've just been in the a uh, cleaning mood this morning the kids have been so good just playing and occupying themselves and I have got so much done so I vacuumed most of the floors and then I mopped in my bedroom and our bathroom and then I cleaned the kids bathroom up which needed it and wiped down their counters and mirrors and all that Picked up some after the kids after their breakfast and dinner. 
And what else have I done? Done two loads of laundry. I washed the kids' rugs in their bathroom that needed it. I feel like I've just been in just a cleaning mood this morning. Um, but now, I actually just got done laying with Millie. The kids are napping, but Millie woke up like a little, like probably 45 minutes after she laid down, she woke up crying. So I laid with her for a few minutes while she went back down. And I almost, like I just wanted to go to sleep with her. But I'm not going to. I'm going to try to stay productive and um, get a couple more things done. And then in just a little bit, I'm going to go to my hair appointment. I'm actually already, I, we had to reschedule my hair appointment once. And so... I feel like it's in need of some color. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to cut it off? Like, I don't know. I can't decide. can't decide if I want to cut it or let it just keep growing. I've been thinking this whole time I might cut some of the length off of it. Like, I don't know, maybe close to my shoulders. I still haven't decided yet to be determined. It'll grow back if I do if I don't love it. So I feel like I get this itch like once a year, like let's just cut my hair off, not off, but cut it shorter. And then I just let it grow. And then the next year I'll usually do the same. So I don't know, I haven't decided yet what I will do. Um, but to be determined what I decide. All right, we have had a busy evening. So we're trying to hurry up and go get my van so we can drop this rental off, which we're probably going to just drop it off after hours. They have like an after hour drop off box or something to put the keys in. So that's probably what's going to happen. I'm trying to hold the camera up. So I got my hair done. Just got my wrist touch up. I did not cut any of the length off. Just trimmed. I got, I decided not to. And I decided if I want to, I'll just text her and I'll go back in and get it. I'm going to cut it to my shoulders. And I decided not to. You don't want me to cut it What? I can't get it that long. Like, it eared. Like, I literally, like, I'll curl my hair, leave it up for half the day, and then, like, I'm ready to put it up by the end. Like, just having it all over my shoulders and stuff. That's what I was thinking. But I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. I do really love the length of it. Um, but it does look good. I don't know if y'all can tell. It looks good. She said she didn't go as heavy. My hair's really damaged in the back. But she was like, I tried not to go as heavy with the, let's see if I can do this. She said she tried not to go as heavy with the um, bleach because she didn't want it to break off because it's already just damaged back there. Um, there's like pieces like breaking off like, and so hopefully no more of that will break off. But anyways, we are headed to get my van. I'm so excited to get it. We've got to fill this rental back up with gas before we drop it off we are back in my van we're at the rental car place ethan is dropping off the rental I am back well, it's good to, to be back in mine the kids are excited to have the tv back um it feels so good don't feel good to be back in our van mm -hmm. but we are dropping that off and i think ethan's making sure he's got everything yeah he's back there um and then we're gonna go home i'm hungry Ready for dinner. It is six o'clock, a little after six o'clock. So it is dinner time. Ethan and I both agree these sound so good for dinner tonight. T loaded Tex Mex beef potatoes with queso blanco and scallions. So good. I might leave the scallions off because I'm not a big fan of scallions. Which that's what I like about this. Like, if I want to like leave something off or change it a little bit, sometimes if I get something that's like something spicy but I want my kids to eat it I might like tone down the spice or like leave off the spice anyways so this one seems really easy to do um, minimal ingredients we've got let me show you all these potatoes I've got everything right here look how big these potatoes are they are huge huge so I'm gonna make this for Ethan and I for dinner tonight the kids are actually having leftover pizza because sometimes if it's a meal that I know that they're not gonna love I'll just make it for Ethan and I so we'll just save the other two I do, I do get the four person box um, which is plenty enough for my size family um, but if you guys have not heard of every plate they are a meal delivery meal kit delivery service that comes straight to your door it comes in a big box it's super insulated all of your like vegetables and side or like condiments and things come in this big box and then your meat comes at the very bottom to ensure it's fresh so this is all my meat for this week um we love every plate we've been getting every plate for a long time a year and a half probably now and it never disappoints it's super easy to do all of the instructions if you're not a good cook all the instructions are right here 
It's super affordable where most delivery services are like 12, 10 to $12 per serving. Every plate is $4.99 per serving. If you use my code, which is Haley179, you get your first week of meals for $1.79 each, which is cheaper than you could go to the grocery store and make this meal for um, $1.79 each. And then the next two weeks after that would be 20% off. So definitely go try out every plate if you've not tried them out yet. They're super affordable. A great time to try them out with my discount code. Haley179 will get you a really good discount. So I am excited to try these. Uh, it says ready in 20 minutes. So I'm going to get started making all this. Oh, I was going to show y'all. Um, let me show y'all like what they have like over the next like week or so. I guess I should say like what they have for like next week. So this is their meals for like next week. There's 17 different meals to choose from from and you can also on some of the meals switch out like the protein or the veggie and you can also double up as well if you have a meal that you really like um you can double up on that and then this is the next week we always love their burgers they're always so good um and they have premium meals like really good steaks and things as well so i did want to share the menu with y'all for the next couple of weeks <music> Obviously not the prettiest because I did not, uh, I was very messy with my potato and it kind of just broke apart, but it looks so good. It's a lot of food. These potatoes are huge. Put the queso on top and it looks delicious. So if you guys are interested, go check out every plate. All the links would be below. I just got done with dinner and it was so good. So good. So I'm definitely going to have to recreate that in the future and be super easy to recreate. It was delicious and I'm stuffed. We're also playing. We've got one. We need to, I hope to get this fixed in the future, the yard. We've got one on the gator back there. We've got one here swinging. <laughs> we finally, and I didn't share it on here. We This was at our old house. We got it at Sam's Club a few years ago. And so we put it in Ethan's building and we were like, eventually we're gonna get it up. Well, we finally did after like a year and a half, or actually, yeah, about a year and a half. Ethan finally put it up for the girls last week and they have been loving it so much and on it every single day. Another thing, I don't know if I'll be able to show her. Ren has learned to ride a bike with no training wheels within the last couple days. Hadn't you, Ren? Say no training wheels, right? She's on Lainey's bike, but she's gonna get, are you gonna get a new bike for your birthday? <laughs> yeah, and this little boy, won't stay seated. Did you get a new car too for your birthday? You guys sit down. So we just got the kids a bath. I just washed my face. I've got stuff all over my shirt. I'm getting ready to put some pajamas on for the night. But I'm gonna put one of these mighty patches on this on my chin. Maybe two of them. Maybe just one. Um, but we went for a walk with the kids. We went outside for like 30 or maybe 40 minutes or so with them. I hear Callan. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but Callan is hollering for me. He's saying, Mama. But we have no other plans for the evening except for just relax, get the kids in the bed, um, and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of long for our day, just a simple day and the life vlog but hope you guys enjoyed it either way happy with my hair happy to have my car back and so yeah i hope y'all have a good weekend i hope y'all see this on friday so if you see it on friday i hope y'all have a good weekend 
or if you see it the next Monday, hope you'll have. I feel like my eyes are super red. If you, it really is. If you see it on Monday, hope you'll have a good rest of the week whenever you see it. But I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.